Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to look at Bobcam for SolidWorks and a sample part and some of the workflow uh, that you have to uh, set up your job and, and program some features. So uh, here we have a, a tooling block that we have both 2D and 3D machining on. So uh, once we have the part modeled, the first thing we want to do is get into the cam wizard and we want to, uh, or the cam tree, and we want to run our stock wizard. Uh, from here, we can use a bounding box or a solid model, or uh, you have a couple of different options. In, in this case, the bounding box works just fine. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is advance, and I want to set where my zero is. So in this case, I want to pick top center, and then you'll see that my Z is aligned with, with this um, this edge here, and I, so I need to make some adjustments. So my x-axis is going to be this way. And my Y axis is going to be this way. And then I want to flop the Y so now I have my X, Y, and Z aligned top center. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is just check this down. So I have my stock set up and I have my zero set up. Uh, from here, I can start loading in strategies. You know, maybe we want to come in and face the part so we can choose facing next select geometry there's a couple of different ways you can do this i'm just going to right click on this edge and i'm going to do select loop and then i'll check it down and then from there um, now that i've selected the geometry i can come in and adjust with tool now one of the things you'll notice is that my decimal points i'm only showing two so i'm going to just finish this i'll come down and edit my document properties and i just want to make sure that i'm showing four decimals here and then I'll choose OK. Now I'll just get back into the uh, interface and make some adjustments. So I'm going to use a three inch face mill. I'm going to do a zigzag 50%. I'm going to cut to zero. Um, leads, links, I'll swing some marks. Finish tool is going to be zero and we'll compute. So I'm just going to run a facing cycle. Um, I could do a rough and a finish. I could have it step down. I mean, you have lots of different options. It's basically facing. Depending on how the stock comes over, it may already be prepped. Um, so, so we got a facing cycle. The next thing that I want to look at doing is... Um, machining you know maybe some of these blind holes here so I'm gonna do insert drill I'm gonna say hole next select geometry so from here I could go through and pick the edges but really I'm just gonna go to my um, my tree here and I have uh, some holes already set up so I'm just gonna grab that feature check it down um, Next through, I can go ahead and adjust the center drill that I might want to use, or I could adjust the drill and my speeds and feeds. But basically, the depth and everything is all set up, so I'll go ahead and compute, and that will go ahead and, and drill my holes. Now, uh, from here, what I want to do is the counter bore, so I'm just going to come in and load a drill cycle. I'm going to choose uh, counter bore hole. Next, select geometry. Same thing here, I'm just going to grab the, the counter bore. Um, off the the tree I'm gonna check it down next you know I can adjust my tooling if I'm gonna use different tooling I can adjust my speeds and feeds I'm happy with everything so I'm gonna go ahead and compute and now those are programs uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to machine this uh, this cavity out so I'm gonna choose a three axis routine so we'll do mill three axis I'm gonna use advanced rough um, I'll go ahead and select the whole body, so I'll, I'll check select whole bodies, I'll select the, the model, I'll go ahead and check it down. Um, from here I'm going to pick my tool, I'm going to use um, a half inch bull nose, so I'm going to just throw, throw a corner radius on this. Uh, I'm going to set my step down, I'm going to set my step over. You know, I'm going to cut this to finish. I'm going to loosen up my tolerance here a little bit. And then I do want to run some step ups to machine that larger chamfer. So we're going to run seven uh, intermediate steps that will go back and, and re rough the step downs. A uh, couple of other options here. I'm going to choose machine flat lands. We're going to do retrack, retrack. What else might I want to adjust? Um, I'm going to check ignore holes. And then uh, I think that's it. We'll go ahead and compute this, and that will generate the tool path to uh, 
to rough out that cavity and to um, uh, machine in that uh, that chamfer there. Okay, so now from here, the next thing that I want to do is uh, there's some tapped holes down here. So we're going to do insert drill. We're going to do tap next. Uh, select geometry. I'm going to go ahead and grab my quarter 20 tapped holes here. I'll go ahead and check it down. Now, when I pick up, even though it's set to a corner 20 in the feature tree in SolidWorks, in order to pick your thread type, you do have to pick it from here. Uh, the default is a quarter 20, so that makes it really easy. But you can go ahead and adjust this to whatever you might need. So I'm going to go ahead and choose next. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is it did pick up the top apart because we're in, in a pocket already. Um, you know, you want to make sure to uh, look at your clearance and your rapid plane also whether you're running uh, G99 or G98 as far as where it returns uh, if we had to move around between uh, multiple pockets that would definitely be uh, important to look at but this example looks good again I can come in and adjust my center drill or my drill or my tap and my speeds and feeds but I'm happy with everything in this example and I'll go ahead and compute so that's gonna go ahead and um, and tap out the holes um, you know, and, and, and process them. It should have a center drill, drill and tap. And then, um, you know, that's about it. From here, I can run this through a simulation. So we'll do mill simulation. And uh, so it's gonna pull up the simulation. I'm just gonna turn off the machine here and uh, kind of rotate my view around a little bit. Uh, turn off my tool path, hide my solid, turn down my simulation I'll go to my operation list here so what this allows me to do is uh, just jump through the different cycles so I can see what's going on pretty quickly so one of the things that you're gonna notice right away is that um, uh, let me turn this back on you can see the order in which I'm processing these center drills is causing a gouge because you know I haven't cleared out that uh, that pocket yet so uh, by default it's tool dominant uh, posting order so you can see that's that's causing a problem right away I'm just gonna kinda uh, click through here see what else we have going on if any if anything comes up uh, that may not be apparent uh, one of the things that I want to do is I want to run a I want to run a deviation report here we go right here and I'm gonna regenerate this and, and what this will do is this will show uh, if there's any uh, material left now it's showing some stuff on the tapped holes it's showing the open pockets on the the back here but really the thing that I'm noticing is that because I used a, a bullnose cutter uh, there's the radius of the bullnose left um, on this wall here you know so I, I really want to clean that up I need something I need to address that with an additional tool path and also uh, based on the gouge that we saw earlier I need to adjust my posting order so what I want to do is I got all these tool paths on the screen so I want to blank them out so I'm gonna just go blank all and then as far as running this profile here I'm just gonna load two axis profile next select and I'm gonna grab from this edge I'm just gonna pick through I could I could uh, end up uh, uh, can, uh, using a sketch or something but I'm just gonna grab these edges that's just fine we'll go ahead and um, set where what our tool size is we're just gonna use a half inch end mill um, leads I'm probably gonna want to run a circular lead it's got my depth uh, it should have picked it up automatically based off the model so I can just compute here and here you can see I have my lead in and, and then it's going around um, one of the things that you might want to do uh, in this case you know maybe you want to walk the tool in so I can do uh, pattern side roughing some amount um, take it in two passes recompute you know so now what that's gonna do is kinda take two passes or you could you know have it load a spring pass or what have you alright so that's gone ahead and cleared that up uh, the only other thing that I want to look at is my posting order so if I go up a level here and I go to part and machining order you have a couple of different options right now it's tool dominant I'm just gonna set it to feature 
and I'll choose OK, and that means it will post in the order that the features are in the tree. Uh, doing this, we should be all set up and ready to go. The last step would be to post it out, uh, but as you can see, we can make quick order of these parts here, uh, working right inside the SolidWorks environment. If you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, please reply back to the post, uh, the thread that this video is posted in, the Facebook, the YouTube, um, you know, or any other uh, medium that you may find this video. Uh, other than that, we'll catch you on the next video, and uh, thank you so much for your time.